Hello guys and welcome back to another modding tutorial. In today's modding tutorial, uh, I will guide you guys through on how to get Red Dead Redemption 1 on your PC. Um, today we're going to be using Xenia. Uh, basically Xenia is an emulator that basically you can play loads of games from like PS3 and Xbox and stuff uh, free PC with Xenia. Uh, there's other emulators such as Yuzu, which is a Switch emulator. So if you have like some co some sort of Switch controller, you can always use that as well. But for today's tutorial, when we're installing Red Dead Redemption One on the PC, we'll be using Xenia. Before we do get into today's tutorial, I would really appreciate if you could like and subscribe, as it really does help me out. Uh, if you have any questions, need anything, uh, need any help or anything like that, you can join my Discord, which I'll link in the description. Same with everything else we're going to need today. So let's get right into the tutorial. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get some sort of um, archiver, so such as WinRAR 7-zip. It's completely up to you. So I'm going to quickly show you how to install WinRAR. This is linked in the description as well. So uh, it'll take you to this page here, rarlab.com. Here we want to go down here and find um, English and then your bit of your PC, so I'm 64-bit. So we're just going to look for English, 64-bit or 32-bit, depends on your PC. Go ahead and download that. Open it up. Uh, click Yes, click Install, click OK. And then it's, it's simple as that. You've done, you've installed it, OK? Um, just make sure you've got some kind of archive on there that you can extract uh, files with. Next, uh, the next link is going to be the actual Xenia. So just in the link in the description, it'll take you to this page here. You want to go down to the latest, which is um, here, Canary Experimental, latest. Make sure it's the latest. Go to the assets, and then you'll see xeniacanary.zip. Go ahead and click on that. Now, save. That is going to go ahead and download the actual Xenia now. So once it's done that, you can go ahead and drag that to your desktop somewhere. So I'm just going to drag it here, put it up here. Once you've done that, you can close out of this. Now it's going to go to our desktop. Now, as we've installed WinRAR, we can go ahead and right click this, go down to WinRAR, and we can click extract to Xenia underscore canary. Now that's going to go ahead and extract that for us into a normal file. We can delete the archive. Now we've got um, Xenia or Xenia. You can go ahead and open that. You'll see license and Xenia underscore canary here. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and go into here. So I've already created a file where I can put my stuff in. So I also recommend you guys to do this as well. So if you create a file on your desktop or wherever you want to put it, create a folder named Xenia. And then in here you can put like Xenia and then the games. So Red Dead Redemption 1, I've already created a folder for the game, but you can go ahead and create one. And then I'm going to go into here and now in the Xenia, I'm going to grab, let me just put this up here real quick. We're going to grab the Xenia underscore Canary and um, hold your left control and select license. And we're going to go ahead and drag and drop these into the folder. You can put them anywhere you want. It's completely up to you. Now, um, we've done that, so we can delete that. It's just somewhere else you can put it. You can put it wherever you want. It's up to you. But now we've done that. We've installed it. Go ahead and open it. So just right click, um, right click on it and then click open or just double click it. It could say this, but it's completely safe. Uh, so don't worry, just click more info and then run anyway. It's completely safe. So you have nothing to worry about. Now it's going to go ahead and open. Um, this is where you can actually find your games through files, but I'll teach you that later. For now, just open it and then close it, okay? Once you've done that, it'll create a few more stuff, like it'll create a text document and it'll create a config, okay? Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to open the config. You can edit this with whatever you want, but for now, I'm just going to edit it with the notepad because it's the easiest thing to do. Now, in here, in here, we're going to go ahead and change some things um, so it makes the game a bit more easier for us. So um, we want to go ahead and first find uh, VSync. Uh, if you can't find it, you can always click left control and F. And then you can search up, for example, um, VSync. Just search up VSync. Enter. 
enter again and then if you find this here vsync is set to true right now basically we're going to set this to false uh the reason we're going to set this to false is because if you just leave it at true it'll give us 30 fps but if we um set it to false it'll give us the maximum fps our pc can handle so we're just going to go ahead and change that true to a false now we've done that um we can go once you've changed that to false go back here and now search up draw underscore res and then it'll take you up here and then you can see that they're both set to one uh it's completely up to you you can set it to two or three just uh honestly experiment with them it depends on your pc um usually i'd set mine to about three or two it's up to you for now we'll just go with two so you just want to change them both to two or it depends on you you could experiment with it it's completely up to you just change them to two or three or just leave it at one it's completely up to you but i recommend changing it to two at least once you've done that you can click file save it okay then you can close the config now we've done that we can refresh that and we've got Xenia set up and ready. Now what we're going to need to go ahead and do is we're going to need to actually find our ROM or download uh, the actual Red Dead Redemption 1 ROM. ROM is the ISO files, which is the actual disk, the game files. You can download this from uh, uh, like other websites. I'm not going to show you how to do this, uh, how to download the actual um, ROMs, but... Um, you can you can ask me in my discord or you can if you hopefully you can find it yourself but i'm not allowed to show you but if you need help again go to my discord and i'll show you how to get it through there um but yeah you want to go ahead and download your rom i've already downloaded it just want to go ahead and open your rom here then you'll have a disk file disk image file which is the iso once you've downloaded it you can put it somewhere uh, safe on your desktop so like i said before i've i've created games in my xenia folder and then Red Dead Redemption 1, and I can put it here. Just put it somewhere on your desktop or somewhere safe, okay? Once you've done that, you'll have a game file. Don't open this. Just go back to Xenia. In, in here, you want to go to Xenia, and then just open the Xenia Canary once again. So you can right-click and open it. Once you've opened it, go to File, and then go to Open, Okay. Here, I'll just find your ISO file in general. Once you find it, you go to open and you open it through here. And then it'll start the game. And if you press F11, it'll put you in the full screen, which will actually just make it more, make the experience better. Now, it it's as simple as that. You've you finished and it's, it's as simple as that. But I'm going to go ahead and show you that it works, okay? So, just want to go ahead and let it start up now. Okay, guys, so as you can see... I'm in right now and it works completely fine um and it's as simple as that yeah there you go that's it's won the game i've taught you how to do xenia get red dead redemption one running up and it's as simple as that uh before i forget if you also click f6 on your keyboard you'll see this little menu up here called po post processing post processing uh you can just change settings with it you can mess around with it yourself but it just yeah you can just mess around with it it just makes things look better or you can change it you know it's just there if you really want it to be so i do mess around with this a bit so you could just change this how you want to change it and then you can click f6 to close it again but yeah that, that's how you do it it's really simple but um also to close the game you can go f11 and then you can click the cross and it'll just close it like that. But if you also go back to the uh, Xenia, again, it'll create, um, it'll now create a, a cache host and a content, okay? In the content, you'll see like a file in here and another two files. This is where you put your save games in. So you can actually download save games um, from places and then you can put them in here and then you could get, save game files for the actual game so that that is pretty cool but yeah that's basically the end of this tutorial again if you guys need any help with finding the rom anything like that please let me know um in my discord or in the comment section so i can help you out with getting your rom or any other problems or issues you're having just let me know and i'll help you guys out but uh, yeah, this is the end of this simple tutorial. If it did help you in any way, I'd really appreciate if you could like and subscribe. 
and uh, yeah that's it guys so i'll see you guys all later and thank you for watching